Hello, edentulous patients often suffer a lot from their lower denture. Why is that? I will show you on this model. Here you see a lower conventional denture and it has not any retention on the mandible. If you, for example, turn this model, it falls apart because there is no retention. And then patients are chewing on this denture, it will lift up and then food particles get under the denture that might cause pain and that is really a big problem for many of these patients. Is um, an edentulous mandible often in people? So in Germany at least it is in younger seniors so being aged between 65 and 74 in the range of 13%. And if you go into the elderly, so people being in the age above 75, it is about uh, one third of the German population. And I'm sure it is similar in many other countries worldwide. So why aren't patients in Germany get implants um, under these conditions? That is because implants are not included in the social insurance system. So patients have to pay out of their own pocket for dental implants. And you might know dental implants are rather expensive and many patients can't afford them. So now the question is how many implants do you really need to retain a lower conventional denture? And I will show you. That is only one implant you really need as minimum to retain a denture. That is a model with one single implant and that is a lower denture that is retained by a ball attachment and it makes click. Now it's attached. Now I can turn the model and you see nothing falls apart and when the patient is chewing on this denture it might move a little bit but it will not lift up and no food debris will get under the denture, will cause pain and so forth. So the chewing ability is greatly enhanced by this single midline implant. And we have now scientific data that these single implants on the mandible will survive very good over five and even 10 years. And there is no expectation that after that time implants might fail. So one single implant already does a job. Of course, if patients can afford to have additional implants that will improve the condition and the retention of the prosthesis. For example, here you see a model with two implants and then the prosthesis will have an even higher retention. And if you add a third implant or a fourth implant, that will uh, another um, be of another benefit for the patient, of course. And so if patients can afford to receive or to get more implants, they should get them. But if they can't afford it, one implant is better than none. So the difference between having no implant and having one implant is really huge. The difference between having one implant or two implants or three or four implants is not as huge. It will enhance, but it will not make the big difference. So. I would recommend to all dentists worldwide to inform their patients about uh, their dentalist patients about the possibility to add at least one single implant in the mandible to have a better chewing ability and a better quality of life. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope I see you soon here.